Hi everyone, this is Nori Koji Web. Welcome to my classroom. Today I am going to show you how to take a great work in progress photo as well as how to resize your photo. I highly recommend you taking a work in progress photo every now and then when you're working on your project because it gives such a great objective view and it's also a great way to measure your progress. Also, if you are going to uh, register for my video or email consultation, this is going to be one of the essential steps. So let's get going. When you're ready to take your work in progress photo, make sure you're taking it during the day. Try to avoid taking it during the night or using only indoor lighting. The photo taken with only indoor lighting tends to be just a little bit too yellow and the color tends to wash out a little bit. So it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to see the actual colors that you use on your project. And when you are ready to take a photo, try to place your artwork on your flat surface instead of trying to hold it up or or trying to take it at an angle. Always trying to uh, take a photo straight on directly above your artwork. If you don't do that, then your uh, photo will turn out skewed or angled in a weird way and uh, it's going to distort your proportion. Another thing you might want to watch out for is casting your own shadow. What I usually like to do is to directly face towards the window and uh, place your artwork and then take a photo so that you won't cast your own shadow. Alternatively, you can also clip your artwork onto your drawing board and place it on the easel. Make sure you are taking your photo straight on so that you can avoid skewing your photo. Another thing you might want to watch out for is not to step too close to your artwork because that can accidentally cast your own shadow onto the artwork. Now that you have taken a great work in progress photo, Let's move on to resizing your photo. I am going to show you how to resize your photo using Windows computer. I am pretty sure it's going to be a pretty similar process for your Apple products as well as if you're trying to use your smartphone, iPad or tablet. For those uh, smart devices, you might have to download a third party app uh, specifically for resizing your photo. So you can look for that on your app store. Okay, so here is my work in progress photo. The first thing you wanna do is to try to crop the photo so that you don't have to show all the excess. So you can just crop the excess corners right here so that you can just focus on your artwork. And you can just go ahead and save a copy. Okay, now you wanna check out the file size uh, real quick. So you wanna just uh, click on this three dots and go to file info and that is going to show you the rough size it's 1.2 megabyte and uh, say i want to just try to reduce it down to about one megabyte i want to go to edit and create and i'm going to go ahead and open this paint 3d app once it's open what you want to do is to go ahead and click on this canvas i usually try to resize the shortest side of the artwork around 1800 pixel. Now, before you proceed, you want to make sure that lock aspect ratio and resize image with canvas is checked. Otherwise, uh, it's going to crop the canvas or it is going to distort your image. So once you make sure that both of those are checked, go ahead and click on here and then that will automatically resize it. You wanna go back and save menu table. And you wanna go save as, because um, you always wanna uh, make sure that you're saving your original image. Make sure it's in JPEG, and you can go ahead and hit save. Okay, now, when you open that folder that you just saved your work, you can see the size of your work is 736 kilobytes. It's pretty close enough to 1000 uh, kilobytes I was looking for. So I'm going to just leave it at that. 
and that is how to resize your photo. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in signing up for my email or video consultation, there's a link in the description box below, so check it out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!